and thank you for joining in with Righteous Talk here again with Pastor Martin and Prophet Martin here giving you the word of the daily message and our message is evil doers shall be cut off amen evil doers shall be cut off so we thank you for joining in again and if you have joined in with Righteous Talk right now it's because God wants you to hear this message we have ex exciting news Exciting news on the evil doors shall be cut off. Isn't that located in Psalms 31? Psalms 37. Amen. Amen. So let us pray. And let us pray. Yes. Prophet, lead us in the prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O Lord God, for you are high and mighty. And we give you the praises, we give you the glory, we give you the thanks. And we pray in the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, that you be glorified through this message, Lord. And that you be glorified through souls coming to you, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father, we pray that your Holy Spirit will reign through this message in the name of Jesus. Reign through this place in Jesus' holy name. Have your way. Have your will, Lord, in Jesus' name. And we pray that this message will enhance and educate and be an enlightenment and be an encouragement for the viewers. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to start out of Psalm 37, mm -hmm. verse 9. And it says, For evildoers shall be cut off. Amen. But those that wait upon the Lord shall inherit the earth. Verse 10. For yet a little while, and the wicked shall not be. Yet, yea, thou shalt build and consider his place, and it shall not be. But the meek shall inherit the earth, and shall delight themselves in the abundance of peace. Uh -huh. Verse 12. The wicked plotteth against the judge, and gnashes upon him with his teeth. This is a very good verse right here. 13. The Lord shall laugh at him, for the seed that his day is coming. Amen. See, if we're in the Lord, you know, when, when the wicked do evil unto us, verse 13 says the Lord shall laugh at him mm -hmm. because he knows that his day is coming. You know, we got to understand when we're in Christ Jesus, uh -huh. the wicked cannot do us no harm. Amen. You know, they used to Amen. sing that song, the devil cannot do us no harm. Ain't that right. Because Hallelujah. the reason why the devil can't do us no harm is because we're in the hands of the Lord. Amen. See? Amen. And if we're in the hands of the Lord, that means we're in the protection of the Lord. That's we're right. in the safety of the Lord. We're in the fortress of the Lord. That's right. You know, and we got all this, you know, protection and power and deliverance from the enemy. Amen. Because the enemy cannot do us no harm. Amen. I mean, you know, they used to sing a song, This this joy I have. The world didn't give it. And the world can't take it and away. And why can't the world take it away? Because God gives us that joy. And just like no weapons formed against us shall not prosper. That's right. And any tongue that riseth against us shall be condemned. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. And also, um, you know, we have the blood covenant. The holy blood covenant of Jesus Christ, our Messiah and Savior. Uh, of our Messiah. We are covered, saturated. In his blood. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. So no weapons form against us. And the enemy shall be cut off. God said that whoever is your enemy is the enemy of God. And God said when you are upright with him and you are serving him, whoever is your enemy will be an enemy with God. God will come up against your enemies. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, he said that I will be your avenger. Hallelujah. Amen. God said, vengeance belongeth to me, saith the Lord. I will be your avenger. I will cut off the evil doers. He said, but yet for a little while, a wicked man may prosper in his own way. But yet for a little while, and then shall he be cut off the earth. See, God, God, nobody doing. Amen to that. You know? So... Um, the prosperity of the Lord is what makes, you, makes us rich of the Lord, not of our own ways. That's right. Amen. Amen. That's right. Now listen to this. Verse 17. Now I we'll go to 16. Mm -hmm. A little that a righteous man has is better than the richest. 
of a men and women. Just go back, you know, to go in agreement to what you said. Now, mm -hmm. verse 17, this is very important. For the arm of the wicked shall be broken, mm -hmm. but the Lord upholdeth the righteous. Mm -hmm. The Lord knoweth the days of the upright and shall inherit, shall be forever. Amen. Now, listen. The steps, in verse 23, of a good man are ordered by the Lord, mm -hmm. and he delighteth in his way. Though he falls, shall not be cast down, for the Lord uphold him with his right hand. Amen. See? And then, verse 27, it says, Depart from me and do good, and dwell forevermore. The right shall inherit the land, and dwell therein forever. Amen. See? Amen. It says, um, verse 37 of the same book, Mark the perfect man. And behold the upright, for the end of that man is peace. But the transgressor shall be destroyed together. The end of the wicked shall be cut off. See? Amen. The evil doers. The evil doers will, will be, be cut, cut off. off. Hallelujah. They will wither as the grass. As you mow your lawn, just like you mow your lawn, they're going to be cut off just like the grass is cut off when you mow your lawn. The wicked will be cut off from the earth. Hallelujah. The wicked cannot stand in the God, congregation of the righteous. That's right. And God is our refuge. That's right. God is our fortress. God is our safe haven. That's right. God puts a hedge of protection around his people. That's Hallelujah. Right. Just as Moses lifted up the rod when Pharaoh's army drowned in the Red Sea. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. That whole army. Drowned in the Red Sea. Glory, hallelujah. Because the wicked shall be cut off. Hallelujah. And they will perish. Pharaoh's like army drowns says. in the Red Sea. And you that that is what we are teaching on. The enemies shall perish. Now listen to this. Hallelujah. But the salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. The salvation of the righteous is of the Lord. He is their strength in the time of trouble. Here's where it says in verse 4. And the Lord shall help them and deliver them. He shall deliver them from the wicked. Amen. And save them because they trust in him. Amen. So how in the world or can the evil do his prosper? How in the world can the evil do anything against the righteous? How in the world can the enemy do anything that prospers against That's the right. righteous? Because That's the right. Bible says what? The, he shall deliver us from the wicked, save us. Because we trust in him. That's right. You know, and we, we can think about a lot of stories in the Bible where God, you know, destroyed the hands of the wicked. Uh-huh. One of the main examples we can use is David. Uh-huh. Because David trusted in the living God. Mm -hmm. You know, even though he didn't come, you know, with armor. He didn't come with a sword. Mm -hmm. He didn't come, you know, with the physical armor. He mm -hmm. came in the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. But the Philistine, he was evil. Mm -hmm. He was ruthless. Mm -hmm. You know, he had, you know, the Israelites were all scared. But you know what? It took one man of God, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, that was able to what? You know, walk in the power of God's might. And Amen. that's how it is today. Amen. It takes one man of God, one woman of God, one person of God to walk in the power of God, God's might. And when the enemy comes against you, like a flood, the Lord said he will raise up that standard, that standard against, against the them. Enemy. That's right. No weapon formed against us. That's right. Shall never prosper. Shall never prosper. And nothing by any name. means shall harm. And in the mouth that come against us, their mouth shall be what? Stop. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. God will raise that standard up against the enemies that come against you like a flood. And remember, beloved. A fervent, fractured prayer, prayers of the righteous shall avail it much. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord God. We cry out, Abba, Father, and he promises to save us from our enemies. Hallelujah. Amen. Abba, Father, will save us from our enemies, and he will take charge and be our avenger. So leave your, your foes and your enemies in the hands of the Lord. And God will take care of them. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Because you know what? God's going to take care of us by protecting us and keeping us. But he said, when you do what he asks you to do, everything's in God's hands. Everything is in God's control. So, but his holy word says that the heathens, the evildoers, shall be cut off and with them as the grass. But the meek, my loving, 
the weak beloved shall inherit the earth. Hallelujah. That's right. Glory to God. And so we must understand that God fights our battles. God fights our battles. All the time. Listen, we understand the more the, the sooner we realize the battle is not ours. That's right. It's the Lord. Just like the battle of Gideon. Hallelujah. Just like the Jesus. battle of Gideon. So what happened? Elaborate on the battle of Gideon. Well, on the battle of Gideon, God caused only 300 soldiers to be thousands and thousands of the wicked soldiers. Because of the footsteps of the horses, he made it to sound like it was more than what it was. So I mean, you know, the, 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 uh, uh, what is it, Jericho? Mm -hmm. uh, the walls of Jericho. The walls of Jericho down. come tumbling down. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And that's how your enemies will be. You think about it. <laughs> yes. Your enemies will come coming down. Listen, he <laughs> said, if you mess with the least, least one of that mine. believe in him, that's it's right. better that you had a millstone tied around right right and drive in the depths of Amen. Glory to God. And he said, if he be for you, he more than the whole world against you. So no matter who can be against you, how many darts, People, you know, throw at you, the enemy throws at you. No matter how much people plan <laughs> against you, no matter how much people want to see you fall, as I read the scripture earlier, God will pick you up. That's you know, right. You will never stay falling because you're in Christ That's Jesus. Right. That's and right. And when you sin, you have an advocate with the Father. That's right. Which means you have a relationship with the, the Father That's to right. restore yourself to be made new. Because That's the Bible right. said, all things pass away. All things become new. Amen. And so, Glory guess God. what? The old way of thinking is no longer in existence because now you have a what? You have a relationship with the Father. Yes, you say, yes, yes, see, yes, yes. as long as you're in the Father's hands, mm -hmm. you're in his protection. Amen. You know what I mean? Amen. But once you step out of his protection, now that's you right. you lose that what? That protection from God. And that's one thing we don't want to lose. You know, a person doesn't want to lose is what? The protection, the protection of, God. of God. Because, you know, yes. God is our fortress. Yes. You know, he's our high tower. He's our shield. Yes. He's our buckler. He's all that we need. He's our protector. I mean, and he's we think about provider. this. provider. We can just go on and on. He's our provider. He's our healer. He's our way maker. He's our protector. He's our alpha and omega, the author and the finisher of our faith. God is our, our Jehovah Rapha. Hallelujah, glory to God. He is our Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Elohim, Jehovah Elion, Jehovah Yahweh. Oh, the Lord is mighty and powerful. You know, and as he says it in his word, fret not thyself because of evil doors. For they shall soon be cut off. Hallelujah. Amen. Now listen to this. It says uh, in Psalm 1, a famous scripture. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Nor standeth in the way of the sinners. Mm -hmm. Nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Now read that over because I don't think the viewers heard you. Clearly. All right. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of the sin, nor sitteth in the seat of the scornful. Listen. Mm -hmm. But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and as his law does he met, take day and night. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bring forth fruit in this season. His mm -hmm. leaves shall not wither, and whatever he doeth shall prosper. See, Amen. the ungodly Amen. are not so, Amen. but are like the shaft which the wind driving away. Listen, uh -huh. therefore uh -huh. the ungodly shall not stand, which means rise, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. in the assembly, nor sinners in the assembly of the righteous. See, they can't even stand, you know, in the assembly of the righteous. For the Lord knows of the way of the righteous, but the, un the way of the ungodly, here it is again shall perish. You see that? Amen. Shall perish. So when you've got, you know, people that think you're coming against a righteous person, you know, a righteous prophet, a righteous preacher, a righteous Christian, guess what? It goes nowhere. It goes nowhere. Because the truth of the matter, God gives us a lot of protection. He said, first, the angel 
of, of the Lord, Lord. and cast around them that fear the Lord. That's right. You know, and are called according to his purpose. Amen. Huh? Amen. And then he said, he gave us the armor of God. Amen. That we may be able to stand against what? The wiles of the enemy. Of the enemy. Then he gives us the Holy Ghost. That we keep <laughs> the devil under. That we stomp on the devil's head. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We got that Holy, Holy Ghost rebuking double power. That's Holy right. Ghost rebuking the enemy power. That's right. That's what we got in that blood covenant. Hallelujah. So how we in the got world the blood covenant that can the enemy good. stand? Seriously. Glory. Hallelujah. Just like what you said. He gives us power. Power over all the The tread upon. I mean, you can walk on the enemy's head. It says it in Psalms 91. It says it in Psalms 91. He gives us power to trample over scorpions. He gives us he gives us uh, power to stomp on the enemy's head. He gives us power to keep the enemy away. He gives us power to keep away principalities from on high. And we bind principalities from on high in the name of Jesus. And we cast you back to the fiery pit of hell Amen. where you belong. In Christ Jesus' holy name. No weapons formed. And no nothing by any means shall harm us. In the name of Jesus Christ our Lord. Hallelujah. By the blood covenant of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We thank you, Lord, for your protection. We thank you, Lord, for your holy promises. Hallelujah. God is for us. Then no man can be against us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. You shall pick up any deadly thing and it shall not harm you. You shall eat any deadly thing and it shall not harm you. Why? Because no weapons formed against us shall not prosper. And nothing by any means shall harm us. Hallelujah. The Lord says, I will be your refuge. I will be your avenger. I and who I am, I am, be I am, that I say I am. That's what the Lord says, glory, hallelujah. And he is Alpha and Omega. Hallelujah. Amen. So we just got to continue to look to the hills. That which cometh all for our us. help comes from the Lord. Listen, yes. I'd rather have my help come from the Lord than man. That's right. Because you know what? Man will let you down. That's right. All the time. That's right. You know, because... That's why the Bible says, don't put your dependence in no man, That's right. no woman, no That's person. Right. That's but right. you put your trust in the what? The almighty God. That's because right. why? God said, I will never leave you. Mm -hmm. God said he will never forsake you. That's God right. said he'll never leave you alone. That's he won't right. desert you. That's because right. he gives you the power, the authority, the defense, you That's know, right. that you need. You know what I mean? That the enemies will fall if they come against you. Because, you know what, just like, you know, the prophet said, you know, if, if they're an enemy to you and you're in Christ Jesus, they're an enemy to him. Because you're you're of him. You but know, God said, you're adopted in God his blood. said, I will be an enemy to your enemies. That's right. There's a difference. You see there? God said, I will be an enemy to your enemies. Therefore, whoever is against you, God is against them. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Because... Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Even in Matthew chapter 10, you know what it says? He that receiveth you, receiveth me. Yes, yes. And he that receiveth me, receive him that sent me. Amen. And Amen. then it says, he that receives a prophet in the name of a prophet Amen. Amen. shall receive a prophet's reward. Amen. Amen. And he that receives a righteous man in the name of a righteous man shall receive That's a right. righteous that's man's right. reward. That's right. See? That's right. God gives That's right. reward to the ones that are what? Righteous. Mm -hmm. God gives his reward to what? Those that bless the prophet. God gives a reward to those that bless righteous people. That's you know right. what I mean? That are truly in Christ Jesus. But That's now right. he comes against those that comes against the prophets right. that are of the Lord. He comes against them though they're against the people that are in, in Christ Jesus. That's right. He comes against them. Why? Because the simple fact is, you're messing, you know, when you mess with that righteous person of God, that prophet of God, that preacher of God, whoever is in Christ Jesus, that's truly serving Christ, mm -hmm. God's hand will come against them that mm -hmm. do that. Because mm -hmm. God said he's the saving strength of what? Of his anointing. That's he will right. never leave them. He will never forsake them. Listen, even when those little kids made fun of the prophet's bald head, what happened? The, the bears came out 
and mauled those children to death because they came against what? God's righteous. You know, a person got to be careful, you know, when they think that they're planning evil things, evil attacks against the righteous. Because you know what? When they do that, God can take the evil one, take them out of here instantly. Because you know what? God's got a plan and no one can stop it. That's right. Just like um, King David said, I will not touch the God's anointed one. That's right. Amen. And you know why he didn't touch it? A righteous man That's said, right. I will not touch God's anointed one. And even Amen. though this man was, you know, trying to, uh, you know, destroy him and kill him. You know what he said? You know what? In other words, he was saying he's not going to bother with that. That's right. He's going to leave that up to God. That's right. He gave it to God. <laughs> and that's what we need to do, like that's I said right. earlier. That's right. The and battle's not ours. That's right. That's it's the right. Lord's. That's right. Let and the and Lord God, cause the wicked to fall. And God handled that business too, didn't he? That's right. God will cause the wicked to fall. I'm talking about when David said, I will not touch, you took care of it. touch uh, God's anointing. What did God do? God fought his battle for him. God fought his battle for him, for David. And that's like what he did for us See? today. And that's what we do. Even though they, the, the people that's against you might not be God's anointed, they just probably some heathens and, and just some evildoers. Don't worry about it. You know what I'm saying? You go to the Lord, honey. You go to the Lord, beloved, and leave it there. You go to God about it. I don't care if you got to go to God about it two, three times a day or every day. God gonna take care of the business for you. God got you. He got your back. As long as you walk it up right with him and you're pleasing the Lord and you're in God's will and you're doing your best to serve him, God gonna take care of your enemies. Even in the end. God will come after your enemies. I'm gonna rephrase that. Because I don't like to say take care of your enemies. I like to say God's gonna be your avenger and God's gonna take good care of you. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, even in the end. You know when the world comes, this is the end of the world come. And it shall be at the end of the world, the angel come forth and separate the wicked from among the just. Amen. And listen what he said. And he shall cast the wicked into the furnace of fire. There shall be welling and gnashing of, of teeth. teeth. Amen. Amen. So if you're and righteous, he also, you fight your battle. He also will make us just as the angels and we get to judge our accusers. That's right. Amen. That's right. The ones that, you know, like she said, the ones that are in Christ Jesus. You know, because at the end, we're all going to be caught up. Those ones that are right, washed in the blood of the Lamb. Let me explain that. Washed in the blood of the Lamb. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're going to be caught up. Yeah. You know, and, and when the Lord comes, meet the Lord. you they're know, gonna caught up and meet he's the gonna, Lord. he said we're going to be as the angels were. That's you know right. what I mean? And we're going to be able to. Judge, some of us is going to be able to judge the world. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because of our righteousness. Because of our righteousness. You know what I mean? But yeah. not all, not everybody's going to be, you made this food, there's going to be some that's going to be able to do that. Amen. You know what I mean? Amen. I guess the very ones that he chooses to be able to do that is going to be able to do that and judge the wicked. But in the, at the end, you know, he takes care of her on this earth. I want you to understand. God fights your battle, you know, here on this earth against the wicked. But then in the end, you know what? The wicked will never be able to bother you again because they're going to be cast into the lake of fire and brimstone where they'll never get out, you see? They don't have another chance. You know, the wicked have a chance, you know, to death, you know, to get salvation, you know. But if they refuse it, the Bible says it's clear. Give not holy things unto dogs. That's right. Cast not your pearl before the swine. That's right. You know what I mean? So that's anybody that's refusing, you know right. what I mean, to listen, Hallelujah. refusing Hallelujah. to listen to God's prophets who, you know, are sent from God, refusing to listen Hallelujah. to, you know, a righteous person that is sent from God, guess what? They're going to be cut off. Amen. Not only in, in this world, but the world but to the come. the world to come. You know what I mean? Hallelujah. God will take care of your enemies. That's right. That's you know right. what I mean? When I say take care, he's going to destroy them. The wicked is going to be punished. You know what I mean? Because of their what? Their unrighteous deeds. That's right. You know what I mean? The wicked shall and will be. You know, the wicked can immediately be cut off. And because, you know, God doesn't like it when the wicked people, you know, unrighteous people come against his people. That's right. He comes against them. The hand of the Lord comes against those that are wicked. That's right. And because the wicked, all they do, 
They what? They plan in their mind to do evil. Yes, they sir. plan in their mind, you know, how they can ruin a person's day. They, they, you know, they're like the enemy. You know, the Bible says the thief comes not except to kill, steal, and destroy. But the difference between the thief and Jesus, Jesus said he comes that we have life. That's right. And have it what? In abundance. That's right. And the way we have it in abundance because of God's protection, God's deliverance, God's provision, God's way making. So we just got to remember that your enemy cannot stand. That's right. Against the righteous. Amen. Amen. We got a song for you. Long time God. Yes, he is. So while that song is playing, I'm going to ask you to dismiss us from here. Yes, he is. Oh, oh, oh. he's on time, God. God. Yes, he is. Say it with me, Pastor. He might not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. He's an on time God. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We're going to close in prayer. I'm getting excited. I'm starting to feel like I want to praise the Lord right now. Glory. Hallelujah. Well, minister, are you done with your song, with your message? It's all finished. Jelly bread for flop. Pour it full of flop. Hallelujah. Today. Righteous talk. Um, 814-695-1203. You can call us for prayer. You can call us for church service. You can call us for Righteous Talk Live, Righteous Talk Callers, Righteous Talk in person, Righteous Talk Skype. Our email address is uh, RighteousTalk12 at gmail.com. Remember that God is an on-time God, and God will cut off the evil doors in due time. Hallelujah. Somebody against you, they're against God. God said anybody be against you, he'll be against them. And God is more than the whole world for you. Then he is more than, than the whole world uh, against Amen. you. God is for you. He's more than the whole world against you. Got me a little tongue-tied there. Hallelujah. I told you I always get tongue-tied at the end when I got to say all these numbers and everything. But uh, we thank you for joining in. And I pray that we get some good comments back from you on this message. We love you. We say Godspeed and God, uh, God bless and shalom unto you. And we're going to close in prayer. Father, we thank you for this message that went for it, Heavenly Father. We believe and trust on your holy word, Heavenly Father. What you said you want to do, we know you're going to do it. We receive it right now. We believe it right now. And we give you the thanks for it right now. In Jesus' holy, mighty name, glory to your holiness. Hallelujah. You are clothed in majesty. We thank you and we love you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Until then, beloved, get yourself right. Stay right. Keep your head up to the sky from which cometh all your help. And remember, salvation is important. Can't enter into the kingdom of God without that salvation. So until then, tune in next time for Righteous Talk with Pastor Martin and Prophet Martin. God bless you now.